On August 16, 1945, the world as we know it changed forever. The first detonation of a nuclear device took place at a Trinity site in the desert of New Mexico. Innocuously named the gadget, the bomb lighted up the sky like the sun and unlocked Pandora's box. Like Oppenheimer in Chris Nolan's splendid silver screen offering, once again, the world faces what many see as another Pandora's box in the form of artificial intelligence. How do we avoid the pitfalls of the past and chart a course for the collective good? Good local time, everyone. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister and Chair of the National Institute of Cybersecurity. It is a genuine honor to address conference goers on one of the most pressing questions of today. How to free the future of AI. Now, the statement on AI risk by the Center for AI Safety puts it very succinctly, and I quote, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks, such as pandemics and nuclear war. The real appeal of the statement lies in its ambition for collective global action. First, consider the potential short-term harms of AI, such as interactive deep fakes, which could unpick the very fabric of trust binding us together. If these render cross-border coordination impossible, we're left teetering on the edge, while common challenges, such as the climate crisis, poised to consume us all. Many signatories of the statement, including myself, see this as a very clear-cut choice. Tumble into an abyss of abuse, exploitation and manipulation by bad actors in the pay of those seeking to extinguish freedoms, threaten human rights, and undermine rule-based order, or achieve global AI cooperation. The first path, as Russia's brutal war of aggression against Ukraine illustrates, is relatively simple to achieve. Take one's eye off the ball, and suddenly the mainstream and social media is peppered with fanciful narratives, generously seasoned with manipulated information. And the result of this foreign information interference is a confused populace riven by doubt and disharmony. Now in Taiwan, we felt the full effect of such tactics during former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's historic August 2022 trip. The volume of cyber attacks on Taiwan government units before and throughout her visit was 23 times higher than the previous daily record. And the digital signages outside some convenience stores, railway stations, suddenly start to display hateful synthetic messages. And this brings us to the second path, AI cooperation. It is a real challenge, but it is also a mission I call on all those who truly care about democracy and share values to embrace. A quick scan of global news headlines reveals a smorgasbord of strategies aimed at advancing this exalted state of being. And these include a pause in training next generation AI systems, industry-crafted rules and standards, governmental regulation, and everything in between. To my mind, our Taiwan model is well-suited for AI global governance and well worth sharing far and wide. In Taiwan, we're no strangers to thinking outside the box when it comes to building consensus on all issues great and small. As a country with a passion for freedom, inclusivity, and fairness forged on the front lines of authoritarian expansionism, it is imperative that our public participates in the policy making and, by extension, strengthens our societal cohesion. The Taiwan model, which recognizes the power of AI as a force for good, uncovers opinions and perspectives on an array of issues with the end goal of promoting transparency and moving beyond division to create consensus. Its genesis in 2015 lies in the POLIS system, enabling online-offline consultation, bringing together 
governmental agencies and ministries, as well as lawmakers, academics, experts, business leaders, civil society organizations, and everyday citizens. Supported by an open source community around collaborative technologies, its highlight accomplishments range from regulating Uber to cracking down on non-consensual intimate images. The POLIS real-time system gathers, analyzes, and understands what large groups of participants think. We are using it to address a host of important AI-related issues like copyright, bias, discrimination, due compensation, fair use, public service use, and broader societal impacts. The allure of POLIS lies in a simple yet profound design. People naturally gravitate toward finding common ground rather than delving into divisive issues. And this drive for democratic unity is encapsulated in the two pillars of our Taiwan model. The first comprises an assurance framework for open source models such as Taiwan Lama from National Taiwan University. It's a chatbot that can help answer general knowledge questions, fast track translation processes, and support industries with up to date information. Our work builds upon existing collaborative platforms such as Hugging Face, ensuring linguistic diversity and adherence to the pinnacle of quality standards. And the other pillar is called Alignment Assemblies. It's an exciting approach piloted by the Collective Intelligence Project, or CIP. Alignment means bringing technology in sync with societal values. Assemblies means gathering everyday people for participant-guided dialogue about needs, preferences, hopes, and fears concerning AI. And this is why my ministry, the Ministry of Digital Affairs, is throwing its weight behind alignment assemblies, along with other partners such as the GovLab, Getting Plurality Research Network, Anthropic, and OpenAI. Now, already in the pipeline is a series of alignment assemblies staged around the world. The purpose is to discover the AI risks of most concern to the people and share these with leading industry experts who can tailor response strategies accordingly. Now, Taiwan as one of the first partners in this deliberative undertaking, we'll share our know-how and consult on formulating the protocol for running international alignment assemblies. It is essential to note that Taiwan's standing as a reliable and trustworthy partner for all democracies worldwide, and especially alignment assemblies, are in line with the Summit for Democracy Declaration. I joined both editions of this international event, and we're proud to stand with 70-plus partners in endorsing this declaration seeking to advance peace, prosperity, equality, sustainable development, and security. So I believe that open source and alignment assemblies serve as powerful catalysts for bolstering our societal understanding and when the public witnesses the fruits of our collaboration, it spurs co-creation and solidarity. This virtuous cycle is key to revitalizing democracy, ensuring that we leave no one behind in tackling existing and emerging challenges to our free and open societies. So I invite all and sundry to immerse themselves in this transformative journey, whether by participating or by learning more about this game-changing process, or even running your own via CIP.org. Your involvement can contribute to a veritable Cambrian explosion of experiments in incorporating collective intelligence into technological development. The bottom line is it takes all hands on deck to cut the AI Gordian knot while charting a safe and sustainable course for sound global AI governance. By amplifying a plurality of voices, as well as harnessing the synergy of the Taiwan model for the collective good, we can minimize risks, maximize benefits, and free the future together. 
Thank you for listening. Live long and prosper.